All right, and we're live in Discord. And literally just picking up the last part of my trade. Let's see if we pass these MFFU accounts right now. Did not mean to come live right now, but this is perfect timing. I was literally in the middle of doing something when I come back. Get this working out pretty beautifully. We're so close to passing. We might just need one more trade. But let's see if this one shakes out. It looks like it's going to pop right back up, though. So we're probably going to have to do another trade. Yeah, we'll just exit out there. And we might be looking for a long now. We need about $700 more dollars to pass these MFFU 50k accounts. And we might be waiting till open actually. To just trade one con, get our $600, and be done. Be fully funded with MFFU in one day. Woo. Would be pretty sweet. We might even be able to get it. I mean, I think, I think we're getting bullish. It might need to be a long, but we might, we might be able to take a trade before open. <coughs> Let's see how this shakes out. I almost just took a beating on that last one, though. I shorted a little early, thinking we're going to just sweep this uh, this 50 day EMA and then drop. But no, we wanted to fucking come up here. Some random level I don't have charted, so. <laughs> I almost got ruled, but I, it's a bearish day, so I kind of knew it was going to dump at least a decent amount, so I just kept on averaging in, and sure enough, we made some money, I think, only on really one con, I guess, <laughs> yeah, the rest of the cons, nothing really happened, but we are so close to passing, and then we have the top step combines coming up next. We have 50Ks. We're really trade of one mini to pass it. Or get a thousand, thousand five hundred? Yeah, thousand five hundred dollars today. And let's see if we can do it. The dog in the house. The 15 minutes to open. Probably could sit in longs, but I think it might just range here. It's a bearish day, too, so so we, we would have to enter on a pullback, which this is a pullback, but it already got eaten up. I guess we could expect it to break 44s, but we'll sit tight for a little bit. Just in case we are going to continue the downtrend too, you never know. It's because there's been like a, a little relief bounce for us to, to keep going lower. We only need 700 more dollars or 600 more dollars to become fully funded with my funded futures. We're so close. You can see all the trades I took. I made like 2,500 over here. And then I tried knife catching a few times. I think I caught one short. Yeah, I think I caught a short, this short over here. Or no, I caught the longs right there, a little knife catch. I don't even think I played any shorts on this, uh, this massive drop, actually. I was just trying to knife catch the whole time. Failed about twice, I think. Yeah, I think this was a failed knife catch right there. This was a successful one for what, 10 points, and we had another knife catch right there, which I should have sold the whole boat, but I ended up holding one for, for about break even, and then yes, we had this short right here where we basically broke even, I don't even think we made any money actually, <laughs> maybe on one con we made some money, I made like 200 bucks there. And we were in like a thousand dollars of drawdown. That was that was so bad. I got a little nervous there. <clears throat> I 
does look like we are flipping bullish, though. So I think we could be good for VWAP. <clears throat> See what happens here. Maybe, maybe we could take the longs up to VWAP before open. So that 15 minutes to open, so I'm not too sure if we'll get that push up, but we just might. We are looking pretty fucking bullish. We did have a pretty nice drop too from London. And a pop and a drop. Pop dropped and locked it. Ooh, that was like 200 points too. Jesus. I am a little bit interested in shorting this little double top here, but I think we're just too bullish. We'll try entering on this front line. Ah, we could even enter right here. Looks like we might get a little pullback before we blast up. We, we could get to view off. Yeah, we, we will take it. It's kind of a sloppy entry, but I think we are going to break out of here. We're, we're feeling so bullish right now. We just had an insane drop. So I think we could we could clean up this account right here. It is kind of a dodge, his net entry. I think we will break out though. What are the chances we range before open? They're pretty high actually. We're gonna drop before open is in the cards, but it's more likely to push up at least a little bit more, so let's see. <clears throat> there we go, we're getting a little pop. I would actually prefer to uh, to pass this before open because... Ooh, this is just a little sweep. We could add our second one, I think I think we're still going to be up. Yeah, we, we, need, we need two cons for this. We're going to make the 600 before open. We just need a little push up, nothing crazy. Forty times ten, so we need about like, what, 15 points? Should this somewhat likely we get a little drop? We're open though. Already swept that. We are so bullish, we could just push on through. So we will huddle. Stop loss below here. So, what, like 35? Let's clean up these accounts. Failed what twice yesterday because of hesitation. We were killing it in open and we hesitated just for a little bit too long and we paper handed for the major play that we were we were looking for. And because we hesitated in the first place, that's why we ended up paper handing because we were just in too deep for the uh, the major play. We we had a terrible entry. It was supposed to be just be a scalp. We let it run against us, so we might be actually getting the fuck out of here. Maybe we won't go up to VWAP before open. It still just looks like a little pullback. There's been some vicious drops, though, so I'm a little bit nervous about it. Little double top on a bearish day, it could just fall off a cliff. Oh, 
I was looking for a little push up. Uh, three candle pullback. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Still holding the trend, and we should be Gucci here, yeah. And we're still holding the trend. This should be a nice push up here. Hopefully, it's just enough for us to pass. Market opens in 10 minutes, and we get to switch over to top step. For that little push up. A little push. I guess not too little. We need 15 points. So what? Before VWAP, so yeah. Well, we'll be Gucci. We do expect a bounce off VWAP. Boom, 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 boom. Pump it up, up. Oh, and we're going to have Crypto Fund Trader tomorrow, too. Yeah, we're going to be looking good tomorrow. <coughs> and then with Trade Day, it's supposed to be five days for the live activation after you do, like, onboarding stuff. And uh, I did all the onboarding because there was like a four step email. I did all the onboarding. And then uh, they said, yeah, please wait five days after onboarding. But I didn't realize the fourth step in the email was oh, email us back which account you want the live funded, which is $130 a month for, uh, for data, or the sim funded, where you can only make 5K profits. And that anything over 5K is you lose it basically. So I obviously went with the, the live funded. And uh, I had to reply to that email to start the, the five-day process. So I think we're, we're looking at five more days for that. So next week for the live trade day funded account. <clears throat> Hopefully we can pass top stuff this week. So we'll be looking at like... <gasps> Like ten funded accounts would be very nice. As soon as trade plays out, I might just dick around before open. I don't know if I want to be holding this through open. On a bearish day, we could just dump it off a cliff. I think it's likely we get a pop though if we are gonna dump. So maybe we could hold this through open and just set our set our limit cells at like 56 ish that should be more than enough to pass these accounts assuming we don't dump it right now of course if we do dump it around we'll just get out It would have been nice just to hold it short through that. Just boom, boom, boom. Bang it out in fucking two minutes. <laughs> Take the elevator down real quick. Now we gotta sit through the stair stepper. Gotta pop up a little more. Put a cell up there. Six minutes still open. Hopefully that wasn't the last push up. I 
feeling a little too bearish. I'm, I'm just gonna bail. We'll, we'll, we'll take a we'll take a trade with open. Yeah, paper hands. That's okay. We'll, we'll wait for the five minutes. I do not want to get caught in a little cliff dive. I mean, this was what thirty-five to nineteen in like a minute. <laughs> I expected, I kind of expect another one like that, so, I, yeah, there, there's just no reason to get all, get all risky about it. <clears throat> Open might literally just dump through here, sweep this low, and then pop up. And we could be looking at an uptrend day, if that's the case. We're gonna find out, boys. What's going on, Lucas? How's my hitman doing? I like your profile picture, by the way. Looking savage, dude. Mafioso life. Dude, Charlie killed it today, huh? 21 G's? Monster, dude. One of these two happens. I see you, King. Yeah, I'll see you, bitch. Oh my god. And me. <laughs> I'm looking savage. So funny. Dude, Charlie killed it. Kill in the fucking game, bro. <clears throat> it's nice. I miss those days. I need to get back on my fucking. Oh, dude, that's a 40k day right there. 40k day. 40k day. You the king. <laughs> Damn, that's a beautiful day by Charlie. And I think he lives in China too, so like forty U S forty thousand dollars USD. Forty thousand USD to yen. So not uh, Japanese yen. Or no, maybe he's in yen. Yeah. Wait, what's the what's the Chinese currency? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I know. Chinese. Chinese. Oh, Yuan. Yuan. Know, yuan. 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 That's 287,000 yuan. Golly. Boys sitting like it on a pile right now in China. I love day trading. One day could change your life. All it takes is one day. And he's still going. 162. Oh my god, he's going straight to VWAP. Just like we wanted to, actually. <clears throat> we could still be good for it. If this dumps pretty hard, we, we could actually get back in the longs. We paper handed there pretty hard, actually. Maybe we won't get another dump like that. We have two minutes to open, though. We could just hold the one con for fucking 62. Through open. It's Charlie's PT, too. It makes a lot of sense. But let's see if we get a nice little dump right before open here. A little blast down, and we're going to we're gonna scoop up one con. 45 seconds. Maybe we'll scoop up two. Nah, just one, because it's open. We don't want to dump off a cliff on us. Ah, shit, we might not get it. Damn, we almost would have got our uh, PT from... Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're in. We're in. Let's set uh, the cell up there. And let's see if uh, let's see if we get it. Shoot, do we need two guns? Yeah, we probably do need two guns, but that's okay. See a little morning pop. 
Oxi. Oxi. We both the second con. For the pop-up. For the pop-up. Come on. Come on. Come on, run it. Oh, no. Come on, push it up. Push her up. Push her up. I think we only need to get up there, to be honest. Bad piece of counts. Getting a little wild. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, we might dump it here. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oosh. Stop loss of the 50 day. Bounce it, yeah, bounce it, bounce it up, oh god, this is getting risky, I literally might want to sweep those loads, there's the 50, yeah, okay, we gotta get out, damn, yeah, that did not work out, unless we just sold the bottom tick, I think it's coming for these lows, to be honest, yeah, okay. Doesn't look like it's going for those lows. We could try to get the scalp in for the lows. This could pop up pretty mean on us. Let's see. Let's see if we can join this uh, this drop. Shit, we need 1200 now. Oh. Shit. Not getting, we're not losing any momentum. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh god, it's gonna pop up, huh? Oh my god. I feel like it's still gotta go to the lows, though. I don't know, maybe it just goes right back up. <coughs> oh fuck, man, we're just getting fucking ripped. Still should go to the lows, though. At least sweep them. At least sweep that low today. Oh man. We're starting to bury ourselves here. I think it's gotta sweep those lows though. E. Little sus, but that's okay. Dump it down. So does the knife catch the fucking move there? It's crazy. Come on down to the lows, bud. No way, it's just gonna pop right back up. Okay, now I might just want to view up. God damn it. We just fucking ripped through two G's right there. Or like 1300. <clears throat> That's not good. We were so close to passing, we just <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I guess we gotta make two Gs then. What a random spot to stop, too. Why would it not want the lows? Unless it still does, we just gotta get back in. God damn it. Might have just bailed a little bit too early. Really should just be scalping with this. Gonna take a little bit to pick a direction. 
Ah, now it might go to Lowe's. This is the next five minute candle right here. Makes me not want to short this though again, because what if another bounce like that happens? It would just be fucking disaster. Now it should head to lows. Really don't want to join it again just in case of barcodes on us. Fuck, I think double the losses. Really struggling here, but I think it's just gonna boom right to the lows. Like pretty much has to sweep the lows at least. At least a little bit. Sweep up all that liquidity. I don't know if I want to mess around with this open anymore, though. We already lost, what, $1,300, $1,400? We're $600 away from passing. Right, let's do it. And that's open for you. I'm just going to get those lows. Just like we expected. This is this is a decent pivot point. I guess this is too to this area. I almost think it might just rip through the lows and just keep going. annoying when the bounce fucking gets you. That was a massive bounce though, Jesus. 12. 30 point bounce? Jeez Louise. It's getting close enough to lose. I wonder if it needs to sweep it or not. Reality, we should have just added up there, but I thought for sure it was just a fucking pop. <clears throat> Maybe out early. <laughs> Hopefully, he got out. I don't think it hit his TP. 62, yeah, 62 is the TP. VWAP moved as soon as open came, though, so. I think we're blasting through the floor here. Yeah, there's a play that we wanted. Pretty much failed at open. Like, every single time. <laughs> Lately. On camera, at least. Fucking brutal. Here's the sweep. 
Makes me want to knife catch this for the bounce, but I don't think so. We're bearish AF. I should be joining these shorts. A little bit late, but not too late. Let's see if this is the double bottom because we're also hitting this pivot point right here. Swept it. Not too sure. I want to try the longs though. Let's hit one short. I don't think this bounces. And then we push lower. And it like rips a little low, like pushes hard. We're probably just going to, uh, that was a soft push. When it like pushes super hard, we're just going to sell. And we'll look for another play. Shit, unless it does bounce now. It should have a hard ass push before it bounces though. Are these just soft pushes? Why? It's getting a little too soft. I don't know why. Big problem right there. Ah, a little scalp. This is softening up, it seems. Unless it's just building up, accumulating sellers, just to fucking dump it hard AF. Or it could be reversal time. We're definitely not looking for longs until we see some decent sign of weakness. Which, this is a decent sign. It's really pushing lightly. I kind of do want to knife catch this. Oh. Well, let's see what happens here. If it bounces, pretty nice. I might just take wands. After the, the next red candle. Or just go back in the shorts. Yeah, I think that sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. I'm kind of glad we lost that money because I wanted to record me passing these challenges.
I didn't record during the day because I would literally just set a trade and play video games and then check on the trade every once in a while. <laughs> I'm starting to make make it one of my rules to to not trade Asia at the same time. Even though I did well, it's just so fucking wishy washy. Look at this. We might I think we still slam back down, but this is looking semi bullish. But I think we do at least come back down again. So I want to take that basically the same trade we just took. Like three hundred bucks. Yeah. Missed I assume this is gonna push push lower some more. I mean this is bearish as all hell. We probably should not be looking at any longs at all. Until this little dump skeets breaks out of that trend nine. What it do, Andy? You caught that short, huh? The full short? I literally entered short right there, right there, and then fucking stopped out. <laughs> That's stupid. Open gets me sometimes, dude. It's just too crazy. Just sometimes, though. Wolves are getting a little, I mean, the bears are getting a little soft at all of us. Sure did it at 171 and went to shower for New York Open, nice. <laughs> you didn't even want to watch this, huh? It, it is fucking, it is, it, it does mess with your head a little bit. Just those massive swings, just crazy fast. They didn't mess up long the TP. <laughs> yeah, what was your TP? Nine sixty four. Oh yeah, that that schmack, dude. You got a nice TP there. Not touching it. Nice. Good man. That's that's how it should be. <clears throat> we might have our short opportunity here. I don't think it's gonna be bouncing back up. Ah, but it very well could. I mean, it was losing steam. Now we're getting. Little bit of a bounce should still be good for the shorts, but we look tough because on bearish days like this, when we dump off at open, we do see a full retracement into a bull run sometimes. I think I think we do still double bottom though, so we will take a short here soon. Yeah, fuck it, we'll take it right here. Could be a little premature, but it'll be okay. Basically the same play we took earlier. We'll TP at the bottom here. Assuming we can get served. I wouldn't mind going two cons here, but I don't think so. There's a chance we do just start running up mad style. Oh. 
Oh, this would be the fucking place to add, though. Right at this pivot. That's okay, though. We could even just break through here. We might hold for the next leg down. Because we're kind of far away from the uh, rocket targets. Capacity's to these accounts. And this is just so bearish. I think it's pretty, pretty good possibility that we, uh, we break through these lows for another leg down. Our stop will be above here, though. Mm. Shit. And if we are fucking bullish. the trend test right here. Oh, it's pushing through. Yeah, we might actually be flipping bullish. Maybe going back to VWAP. We just hit the 21 day EMA. I wouldn't mind longing this to VWAP actually. We still have two minutes on this five minutes, so let's see what happens. This could still be a short play. I'm feeling the longs, low key. Let's let's, let's hit these longs. I, I think uh, I think we are going back to view up. Already broke the trend. Soft push down. It makes sense. I kind of wanted to go two cons here, but fuck. Vicious dump could come, so one con it is. This is kind of going back into the trend, though. I think we're breaking it, to be honest. I think I think we're going on a full-blown bull run. But what if we had to double bottom first? Do -do -do. So your stop is going to be like right here, 178. Just kind of seeming like we're gonna retest those lows. Mm. 
Well, if that's our stop. Try to add one more. Looks like this is just a pullback. Let's go to VWAP. If we break out of here, we're fucking going to be up like for sure. Broke out of that trend. It should be Gucci for this this V Wop play. I think then we actually pass to Sometimes I wish I only shorted because these longs just sort of take forever sometimes. Could take one off, but yeah, I guess we will take one off. <clears throat> just to be safe. Because bears do love taking the elevator down. But VWAP is definitely in the fucking cards right now. I mean, this is this is bullish. We also could come retest our entry, so I think we can just add it back. These wicks are getting a little, uh, a little out of hand, though. Nah, we're so good. We're so bullish. This is just be a slow crawl up. Right? Looking for me, what? Our second con back. This is looking semi bearish, though. We might be going to those lows once again. Five minutes is not looking good, but let's see it get ran here. So, one minute left on it. This price action is, is bullish, so I think I think we're good for VWAP. We got our nice little scalp there. For all this bullshit gets out of the way, should be good for the little run up. This next five minutes. Um, 
can retest those bows. And... I really need to break out of this little area right here. Think about peeling one off again because stalling for a hot minute but that's normal foolish behavior especially on a bearish day <clears throat> trying to bait in all the shorts we're hitting that 50 day EMA now I'm gonna rip through it pop above it we'll take we'll take one con off so the last one at VWAP and then look for the last play to uh Let's clean this up. What the fuck? I wonder if that was the pop up. Fuck me. The bears are still strong. Would not be surprised if we came and retested the low for a double bottom. And look at those wicks on the five minute, Jesus. This is Wick City over here, actually. Jesus. I really want to take one off. I, I don't trust this shit. We'll hold one for the VWAP run. I mean, odds are it looks like it's going to come retest our entry again. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we could just do that same scalp we just did twice. Oh, there's the break of the 50 day EMA. Runner up to Viwa. Runner up. And let's pass this shit. <coughs> now we're back to where we started this video with. <laughs> Basically. But this VWAP run. It's 30 points. So, wow, yeah. Okay, that, that actually could pass us right there. That's kind of a hell of a gap to fill, though. I wonder if we see another pullback before then. This is getting so bullish that I doubt it, right? We are hitting kind of the bottom of our drop at open. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll get out for, for now. And we're, we're going to get back in on the little pullback. This, this is a hard zone right here. And we stalled there at open, so... The market probably wants to, to pull back a little bit before. Or even come back down to the lows again. But this is so bullish. I do kind of expect this just to rip to view up. That's okay if we miss it though. Little pop. I 
Oh shit, it is ripping the view up. There's some resistance right here. Still looking for another long entry. Shit, we might just gap fill this to view up right now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get back in here. So I think we're going to blast the view up here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go two. We get two? Yeah. There's a view up. We should just fucking blast through. Hit that be wop big B. Getting close. Getting real close. I wonder if it's gonna stop right below like in two likes to do. Dip shitting around. set it a little bit lower just in case it does want to just get pretty close to it. Mm, momentum. See that pop up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Push her on up. Yeah. I'm just going to let it come up there because... Because I just don't trust these little little impulse moves up on a bearish day. I think they're just sus. We're only 500 away, too. Dirt. Think about taking a short here actually now. Nah. I feel like it's gotta stop, but it could be one of those days. Just close enough to view up. We could just get back in one long. I'm expecting a little bit of a drop here, okay? Okay, I'll we'll scoop that up. Let's see if we can get that VWAP push now. Or if this is indeed one of those days where we just come short of you up. We dump to the lows. Just a pullback or a full blown dump. Off that 821 day EMA. If it breaks that 21 day, we'll, we'll probably just have to bail. Might not actually get the view of, might go retest those lows here. This seems like this is just a pullback. <coughs> Shit, I'm already at that second con, but that's okay. We don't need to. We're already fucking 
burned ourselves at open doing that. <laughs> Maybe enough. Ten, twenty points. So Eighty ticks times five. Eighty times five. Four hundred dollars. Now we'll be a little bit short, but that's okay. She could sweep the lap. Well, this is all she wrote for the upside, but I doubt it. I think this one of those days was a full-blown reversal. For the rest of the day. Mm. <laughs> oh, breaking the twenty one day, you may know. <sighs> yeah, we're we're gonna add the second one. Let's let's see if we get that pop back up. Even if we get to the highs here, we'll, we'll, we'll be good. And shove this pull back. Doing, uh, I'm, I'm FFU? FFU? Oh shit, yo, yeah. what's up, Hugo? Yeah, I'm FFU. Dude, Dude I, I fucking, fucking that owner. There's shit all over Twitter, Twitter where, you know those companies that run algos to the pass? Um, like pass emails? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let, let me, let me focus on trading here because, uh, Fucking, I'm taking one step forward and two steps back here. <laughs> uh, you're long? I was long, yeah. Uh, I took a bunch of scalps is... long. Uh, are, are you still, still in long? long? No, no, no I oh, just yeah. got out. Okay. I, I think we might be going back to the low, but we're, also we're I think we... Man. You think so? I, I think so too, but also I think we might have to sweep VWAP before we dump it, huh? Um, so the, the way, way I've been... been... What I've been kind of working on... A market structure strat, and basically, when I look at this right now, the 15 minute swing failed to make a new high, every single swing low failed to make a new high. So, basically, like this should run the lows. I, I think it will too, but I think it has a sweep VWAP first, right? <sighs> Tomorrow's FOMC. Two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they might. Yeah, okay, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take your advice. I'm. I'm going in shorts for the lows. Then, I'll just go with one con because I just took a little bit of an L. <laughs> I would. Yeah. Like I just. Every. There's none of the swings that I really like. Like I think like there's like a few that I would like. I mean, there's there's those days where it's dumping all day, market dumps right at open, and then it just fucking regains the whole dump of the day again right after that this bounce. Would be one of those days where I would say that could maybe happen. That that's what I was thinking. Like if you didn't kind of catch this dump bump, bump then it, I would say the morning moves are done. Is what I would say. Yeah, that's why I've just been scalping. But I still do believe we could push lower, especially with those five-minute wicks. Forget about it. Nah. I, 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 would, I would look for doors. Yeah, I yeah, I like that doors. idea. <laughs> They're just trying to fuck with us, stopping right below VWAP, not sweeping it. Only a thousand dollars away from passing these. What are those? 
50 Ks. Is it the expert account? Yeah, yeah, experts. Yeah, I plan on just going for like two to five hundred bucks a day for one mini. That way I don't pass up their uh, their limit where they're just gonna tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Which, you know, it's, it's hard to do anyways, once you get to like 25, 30k in sim, 50k, whatever it is. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with just like little payouts. These are the guys you don't want to go fucking 45 lots with, <laughs> make fucking 60 Gs in a day. They'll be like, oh, you broke this rule, that rule. Well, that's what I'm going to say to the owner. There's like screenshots of him talking to a guy that runs a service to pass people, telling him fail on purpose and I'll slip money off the emails. Yeah, yeah, but there's always fucking bullshit propaganda on on everyone as yeah. well. Yeah. Until it happens to me, I don't believe any of that shit. Have you tried Tick Tick Trader? No. I fucking I I bought a a direct account for like six hundred dollars, and uh, it uses Jigsaw, right? Which is like, God, just I mean it's 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 like basically Stone Age shit, and uh, it's it's just a DOM, right? And um, you know they said that the the scaling rule is is gone right so you could trade 10 cons with the the 50k account so the first day i fucking uh go in two cons and then i try adding a third one and fucking it liquidates me i'm like what the fuck so i go on their website and it says oh direct accounts are excluded right so then on the second day i accidentally clicked too many times boom fucking uh auto liquidated me again and they're like okay do it one more time and uh and uh we're closing your account and then sure as shit today with this uh this volatility over here yeah this one in asia dude i was fucking sitting here in longs um <clears throat> playing video games right like during an asia session in the middle of a trade and this thing fucking shoots up so i'm like oh shit so i fucking spam click dude and uh and they closed my fucking account dude <laughs> so what is but <laughs> Could have fucking dude six hundred dollars for that fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> but what is that? So like that's just straight to funded. Yeah, straight to funded, dude. But dude, yeah, like jigsaw, it's it is a bullshit rule, dude. Overscaling, dude. I think it's a massive scam. But uh, I don't, I don't think the company's a scam. But that rule is just such dog shit, dude. They give you like the shittiest platform to trade on. And then give you that rule on top of it. Like, come on. You can't. You can't. You gotta use Jigsaw. Oh, you can yeah, use Ninja. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I knew that. But, um, someone, Andy, said that he was using Jigsaw. So I'm like, oh, I might as well try it. And then I activated Jigsaw. And then I saw it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then, uh... They wanted to, like, me to pay to switch to Ninja, so I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll just use Jigsaw. <laughs> yeah. Or, I was thinking about, uh, I don't want to buy another account with them, because I think that was just dog shit rule. But, um, also, uh, there's just, like, CQG or something. I, I literally just chose the worst platform possible, <laughs> and I think that's what fucked me. I, I don't think they're that bad, but I think they do put that rule in place to, to fuck you. What? What is, that? is it? Yeah. Yeah, it might be worth another shot with them. I'm just salty as shit that they closed my account because of that, dude. I was up like 800 bucks too, and I fucking spam and fucking close my shit, dude. So, wait, so, you, so you go with their direct, direct account, and you, you got, got the 50k? Yeah, it's like it's 700 dollars, but they have like a a code off code for like 100 dollars off. So it's like six hundred dollars. How does the payouts work with them? Yeah, yeah the payouts pretty good. good. Um, so, so I have the direct, direct account, account, which is like the ten k swing. After you get past the threshold, you, you could, could just withdraw 
Um, I, I usually do it once, once a week. week. Maybe withdraw daily, daily if you want. want. I, would, I, would I would recommend not doing that because it, it takes like three to five, five days process. process. So, so what I usually do, do is I get a little bit of a off off the rules. You can, though. You, you can, can, but you wouldn't be able to trigger your account while they're kind of processing it. Oh, okay. Uh, so you, so you, you can't, can't wait the 50k, 50K direct. direct, you should be able to trade 10 contracts. Yeah, but there's a scaling plan for direct. Uh, so until you make $1,600, you can only trade two cons. Oh, okay. Which isn't yeah, bad at all, regard, dude. Regard, regarding Jigsaw as well, I, I usually just do like the market, the market order. order. Dude, yeah, where, where the fuck is that button? I couldn't find it. Yeah. If, if, if you, you click, click on, on the DOM, DOM there's, there's like a money, money sign, and then you click that money sign, and then like a special button, or like, you know, interface pops up, and you can just do market orders. Dude, I'm so pissed that I didn't, I didn't wait for, uh, wait for us to, uh, to have our meeting that, like, we were supposed yeah. to, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's super, super like, complicated when I first, like, tried it as well. well. Which one is it? This, this money right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so click money. And then, and then like, like open, open up, up any contract, contract you want. Um, oh, not, not the money, money but I, I think it's like the hammer. hammer. Yeah. Captain sales. And then open it up. Yeah, yeah open, open up whatever. whatever. Uh, I don't even know if I can connect anymore. Maybe I can. So what? You your scale to two contracts. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't connect. Nice. Uh, you might just have to click okay. I have no connection because they closed oh, my account. Yeah. <laughs> Rip, can can you uh yeah. can can you show me? Yeah, let me. My, my account, account might be deactivated right now because they're taking the money out. Let me see if I connect. Check it out. <coughs> I guess that's not that. You kind of pay. Skip you. You're basically paying skip the I mean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well dude, it's it's, it's a good nice. deal. It's just that was a, such a bullshit rule, dude. Yeah. Cuz I, I got tired of doing evals and then passing the evals and then fucking up my funded account. So, I was like, fuck this. I'm just going to go straight with the direct account, get some cash flow in while I'm doing like evals. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking too and then fucking <laughs> I mean, it's my yeah, fault for being a dumbass, obviously, right? But I think that's such a dog shit rule. Oh, it's bouncing off 66. Find this little pivot point right here. Nah, I should sweep these lows. If it sweeps these lows, we're passed and we're funded. I just posted a screenshot. screenshot. You, you gotta click on that money sign, sign and then uh, like a, a button will pop up, and then you do market sellers and market orders. I'll show you with that. Oh man, I, I fucked up, dude. <laughs> the Dom just moves too fast on NQ, dude, so I over clicked and boom, fucking $600 just pissed away. <laughs> so salty about that. Easily could have been avoided if I didn't trade for eight hours straight and we had our meeting yesterday, dude. Yeah, I just posted the second, second screenshot. screenshot. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, it's easily <laughs> could have been avoided. God damn it. So not only did I fucking get super fried yesterday from trading for eight hours in a row, and I fucking blew, what, six MFFU accounts? I also fucking missed the meeting with you, which resulted in another six hundred dollar loss. <laughs> uh, Damn. Fucking... Yeah, the, been... Just trading for too long, dude. The, I, I've realized that trading for too long is just never a good idea. We're we're already at what an hour? I think at two hours we'll cut it. Oh fuck me! Are we are we really gonna bounce off this pivot point? 
go right back up. Or is this just a little, uh, yeah, nah. Should be Gucci. You go, you're liking Tick Tick, huh? Six hundred with the promo. <laughs> what is the promo? It's a hundred dollars off. Yeah, yeah, but like, is it's a code, code or what? It's a what? It's a, you gotta have code or what? Yeah, it's like mod one hundred or something. But first, click my referral link in the uh, in the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the swing account is pretty good, too. It's only like $200, but you can hold it overnight. But you can only go up to five micros, I believe. Yeah, it's $250 daily loss, and then it, they close your account. But that's actually not too bad at all. Fuck me, dude. Are we just going to bounce right here hard as fuck? I don't think so. I think we gotta sweep this low, right? No way we make a, a new high. So that means if it gets back down to these lows, we should just be done here. I've been looking at these EMAs lately. They've actually been doing stuff. Like, it's bouncing off the 50-day right now. Like, the like EMAs are actually somewhat useful. I got a jet in any regard. Catch you later. Peace okay. out, brother. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm assuming they have Twitter. Twitter. Tick, tick, tick? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think they're a pretty good company. It's just they have some dog shit rules. They all have shitty rules, though. But I mean, just like fucking overscaling and they fucking shut down your account. Like, come on now. <laughs> fucking six hundred dollars too. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Peace. Right, this should be it here. We fucking dump it off. Boom. And we're past. <clears throat> Full send this shit, boys. Full send this shit. Right off that trend line. Dump her off. I'm glad Hugo came on here because I was I was kind of convinced we were gonna <laughs> sweep that VWA. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hit the PTs. Hit the PTs. So close. To being funded with my funded futures. Three fifty thousand dollar accounts and oh my god. We got it. Ah! And the crowd goes wild. Whoa. Yeah, we got them. We're officially funded, boys. LFG. Four thousand. We got it in one day. That's, that's the one good thing. There's actually a few good things about my 500 futures. I mean, you could pass in one day. The The daily loss limit is still 2k, and the profit target is 4k, so it's not that good. But there's no daily loss. So, like, today, I think I went, like, minus 1,000 at one point. <laughs> and I ended up making it all back, plus the 4,000. 
and we passed. If this was top stuff, then uh, we would have hit DLL and we had to wait till, till tomorrow, right? So, so that's good, but also you could blow the entire account in one day. So that's that'd be the downside <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but yeah, let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. I forget what their uh, their payout rules are, so I'm pretty curious to see how it's going to go. Payout information. Earnings or weight, your initial profits up to ten thousand dollars above the withdrawal that hold or located. Okay, so you get hundred percent of the first ten K. That's why we allow bi-weekly. Uh, that's right. Every 14 days. No minimum trading days. Ah, or profit days required. Ooh. Okay. Withdrawal per payout request is just $1,000, which is good. I would not request anything less than $1,000. <coughs> Withdrawals processing official with typically one to three business days. Okay, that's good. Monday through Friday, cut off time at 3 p.m. <laughs> For expert account, every 14 days, the first $10,000 in profit is yours, followed by 9 to 10, whatever. That's pretty good. To do some 40%. Starter accounts have a 40% consistency rule. Okay, well, that doesn't really matter because we're not in a starter account. Buffer zone building phase, you can withdraw up to 60% of your profits with a standard profit split. The threshold will be locked at $0 automatically if any withdrawals occur passing the buffer zone. The minimum withdrawal rule of thousand dollars still applies once you withdraw your buffer zone recess to zero and any remaining drawdown is lost. Okay. So that's the same as tops that once you once you hit a once you take out a payout, then uh your withdrawal or your uh, max loss limit is automatically uh um break even on the account. Count lazy is a withdraw full threshold, even your balance below the threshold, you can withdraw six percent of your profits. Okay. Receive 20% of net reserves when closing the account. 46 to 90 calendar days. So you net fit your of net profit reserves. Closing the account. Okay. All right. That's fine. Draw threshold. Design and ensure longevity. Just manage a $50,000 account. $2,000. Okay. So we got to make more than $2,000 to to be able to request. Anything over two thousand dollars is withdrawable. No scaling consistency rule and no daily loss limit. See, I like that. No scaling consistency rules and no daily loss limit. See that that is fucking pretty sweet. Scale your trading journey without constraints. Okay, so basically we gotta make more than two thousand dollars per account, and then we could start withdrawing. So that's pretty good. I like that. I mean, we made 4k today, so should be Gucci. Gucci on that. Cool. So we'll, we'll be funded by tomorrow. That's perfect. GG's MFFU funded, baby. It only took us three tries. Third time is the charm, boys. Third time is the charm. <laughs> and the good news is there's no activation fee. Even though technically we paid the activation fee on the first six accounts that we blew. So I guess it doesn't really make too much sense there. But because we passed this one, there's no activation fee. We just get the funded account and we could start potentially making profit and eventually get a payout. I mean, my goal is to get the account up to what? Like four or five thousand? Withdraw max amount. So we get if we get five thousand per account copy trading, then we'll have a... Uh, what a nine nine G payout? That's actually pretty good. So basically, we just got to do the same thing we did today, plus a thousand dollars another day, and we'll have a nine thousand dollar payout. Yeah, I like the sound of that. That sounds pretty good. <clears throat> we'll probably only be going for a thousand dollars a day, regardless. Just not even really a set profit goal. If we if we fucking catch a nice trend, then we'll we'll just hold it. But yeah, well, we won't try to do anything too crazy unless the market conditions are right. But, okay, now we have top step combines. Now, we th it's breaking the trend right now, but, I mean, I feel like we got to assume it's going to sweep these lows. 
even with this trend break. So so we'll take a short right off the rip. Let's, let's see let's see if we can sweep these lows. God, this looks pretty fucking crazy. Why? Hmm. Oh man, this is pumping. Oh, this might be one of those days where we just sweep back above the highs, huh? Golly, that was a fucking huge pump. Instantly, as soon as we bought. If it breaks any higher, we gotta fucking bail. But we gotta assume it's gonna sweep the lows because it wants that liquidity, so. Let's see. Market loves chasing liquidity. Got fucking terrible timing. As soon as we buy it, fucking rockets up 16 points. <laughs> what the fuck? Gotta assume there was a stop loss hunt for anyone uh, trading the trend here. That was just a little overshoot, nothing crazy. Let's drop it back down to them lows, boys. If only we had our entry up there, though. What, three seconds later, we would have got it? <laughs> this doesn't seem like one of those days where we pump right back up and sweep the highs, though. Because the days that that happens is usually the dump right in the morning, and then boom, rockets right back up. This is somewhat of a double bottom. This is a double bottom right here. We didn't sweep this low liquidity, so if we double bottom over here, then maybe we have a chance of going right back up to the to the high of day, which would be London session, which would be insane. But I think we have to sweep that low liquidity. But we're going to get stopped out in a second here. This pumps up anymore. Why does it seem like I have three cons? Okay, no. Oops. Oops. Okay. Okay, this is looking like it's going to rip up. But it might just be a fake out before we dump off a fucking cliff. It is really looking like it's getting bullish, though. Maybe sweeping the lows isn't in the cards. I think it really is, but will we survive it? It's a real unfortunate entry. Kind of want to add a second one, but damn, we're, we're already like a quarter of the way to DLL. And it's looking a little bit bullish. Just a little bit, though. Doesn't mean we can't just fucking dump off a cliff and hit the lows like right now. Just like this fucking candle. <laughs> So it's a pretty hard double bottom right here. It's not low a day, but it's still a double bottom. Let's see if the market wants that liquidity. You know NQ loves to eat up liquidity. Oh my god. It wants VWAP, huh? Ah, shit. I kind of want to just add a second one at VWAP instead of exiting. But holy fuck, we're close to DLL already. That was fucking fast. Jesus. I 
There's a tap of VWAP. Fuck it, let's add our second one. Let's see if it rejects here. Did we just get a shit fill again? Oh my god. I wonder about the DLO this shit. Yeah, this is looking... This is looking bullish. Might be in some deep shit. Hopefully we get our pullback and we can just exit at break even. I'm not entirely... I mean, this would be the time where it goes to sweep the fucking lows. Double top, rejection off VWAP. If it pops up like it looks like it wants to, then we're gonna DLO. Golly, that DLL came fucking fast, though. Holy shit, $1,000 with one mini? <sighs> Gotta be surgical. Probably should be trading micros during New York, though. Let's see if we get our fucking rejection right here, though. This, this could still work out for us. But it seems like it might want to pop up just to fucking get an equal high. And that will DLL us. VWAP projection. Come on, give it to us. This dumps to the lows, though. We're looking pretty good. Double top, double bottom. Ah, shit. This is going to pop up. Well, let, let's take the fucking L and uh, switch to micros. We should not have even been in minis. The $1,000 DLL. That's crazy. Why is my VWAP different on this? That's just fucked up. You guys see this? VWAP is up here on uh, MNQ and then VWAP is already passed on this NQ. What the fuck? So weird. We could still be in business in these shorts. The downtrend is technically broken. So I wonder if we are ripping up to the ties. I do want to try this short though. There's the sweep. How many do we have? I want I want five. Let's see this VWAP rejection. This this other VWAP. This is the real VWAP, I think, because it's on trading view. <clears throat> We're looking for the VWAP rejection back down to fucking uh low of the day. Continue the downtrend, trend of the day. This is mighty bullish, so we might even be looking for that 153 pivot. Not crazy confident in this, but it does have a decent probability. Decent. Not amazing, but decent. That was different. Trading view, trade of eight, TSX, yeah. But, I mean, this is trade of eight and trade of eight. Like, <laughs> MNQ and NQ. Like, I feel like VWAP shouldn't be different on those. On, on the same platform <laughs> I'm still using the nom right this is nom too yeah I mean it just doesn't really make too much sense to me <laughs> but whatever let's see if this works out a stop will be pretty much any higher than those two wicks
200 day rejection. Two hundred day rejection. Nice. Now we just gotta dump it off the fucking cliff. Which we are looking looking a little top heavy here, so we we, we could be good. Possibly. When we get these XFAs, we're gonna have to be surgical, cause, or we could trade two micros per account with the scaling rule, but I prefer not to just trade two micros. I think that's just annoying. But uh, I think we'll just be surgical with one mini and go for two hundred dollars a day. We'll just have to be like incredibly fucking precise. So we'll do like limit orders. Take profits off bounces, and yeah, it'll, it'll be good. Let's see, this is a full blown rejection. I, I don't know if it's gonna be, it seems like we're awfully bullish still. I wonder if we just go straight up. Seems like we might fiddle around here. Boom. Next leg down, break the lows though. So let's see. Let's see if we can continue our trend of the day. Stops above here. Let's put a hard stop just in case it fucking flies up. What are we in? Buy stop. Sometimes I forget NQ loves to sweep everything so. Instead of getting in and right at VWAP, probably should have waited for like a little sweep. The good news is, even though we were in minis on the way up, the bears take the elevator down. So with these micros, we should be looking pretty good. If our play is going to work out, that is, of course. does not seem like it's going to. This, it seems like it's just going to keep the bull train strong. Ah, but it's still kind of following a trend right here. A little bit. Nah, it's overshooting it big time. I'm about to get stopped out too. real close four giant green dildos in a row yeah that's bullish okay so we we fucking butchered these accounts basically immediately <laughs> the second we enter we go minus 300 400 500 <laughs> that was crazy
We could still savage this, though. Was want to sweep 52? Or did it just want to stop me out and then go dump to the lows? Huh? Let's hit these longs. I think it's sweeping 52 or 50, 53. Where we literally, uh, nah, still so bullish. After 53, I think we could think about getting in shorts again. But I think the whole day is just flipping bullish completely at this point. Thank you, baby. Might have been a little early on our entry, though. We're gonna have to stop out twenty-two or twenty-ish. Definitely jumped into that one a little too quick. Oh my god. Literally just ripping through this account. Non stop losses. <laughs> or in micro zone, it should be fine. At this point, I, I don't know if we're going to be sweeping the lows. I mean, that's just so bullish. I don't even want to stop loss out of here. I, I don't know if we're going to. Have a real drop. At this point. That is a bearish engulfing, though. Only on the five minute, but. We have a minute left in it, so let's see if it wicks up. If it closes bearish engulfing, then, then we might be in a little bit of trouble, but. If it doesn't, then we're sitting in micros and we'll take the, uh, the slow grind up. It's been a beautiful trend day though. This has been this has been fantastic. I really wish I caught this drop though. Too busy fucking off. My fucking boy Andy caught that drop. LFG. And Charlie. Charlie with a forty thousand dollar day. That's crazy. I remember when I used to have days like that. The good old days. They'll be coming back soon.
this is somewhat looking like we're going to continue the downtrend, actually. We got the dip. Nope. Oh, it's breaking the resistance. Basically, if our entry doesn't break by quite a bit. Yeah, okay, now we're good. This is usually the first sign of a, of a, of a downtrend, right? It dips after, you know, a bull trend or whatever. Comes back up, taps the resistance, continues down. Right, we kind of saw it over here. Boom, boom, boom. Comes back up. Tap this resistance right here, this line. Boom, dumped off a cliff. <laughs> Gotta do the same thing right here. Dump, oh, knife catch, da 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 Oh, tap this support level right here, right off the cliff. Beautiful. Oh, bears are still in play here. I wonder I wonder if our short idea is still in still valid. We don't go on a full blown uh, bull run. Let's have two minutes on this five minute though. Could tap that 50 day. This level breaks. It's probably going to break, but maybe just for a second. I'm a little bit worried this dumps off a cliff. Our original plan actually works out with us on the other side. I was literally going for like a little scalp, but the risk was giant. This was a bad trade. I literally just wanted a sweep of 53. This could still fucking bull trend up for the rest of the day, though, so... FOMC tomorrow? Oof. Okay, there's a sweep of that level. Hopefully it doesn't fucking dump off a cliff. Taps the 21 day and... Can bounces right back up. There's a trend line. If it overshoots it, we're kind of rolled. Is it going to be an uptrend day? Is it? <clears throat> K 
Okay, we got our we got our new five minute. Let's see if we just engulf this. These uh these bear candles. Or if our play for earlier is actually gonna work out. I still think it might need to sweep that low liquidity. <laughs> Hold the trend. This looks like a normal pullback on the five minutes, but on that two minute, this looks bearish as fuck. Ah, this really needs to pump here, otherwise our, uh, our uptrend is fucking smoked, boys. Smoked. And so is our top sub account. It's going to DLL. I don't know if I could do these 50Ks. Oh, with micros, they're doable. Yeah. But damn, one mini? $1,000? That's like... I mean, you saw that. We literally entered right on the uh, trend break, right? Or the... Where did we enter? Oh, yeah, the trend break on this. Yeah. Thinking it's gonna hold the trend and it just ripped up Mongo style. We're down three hundred dollars in what? Not even fucking five seconds. That was our fault for letting it run though. Once we saw that trend break, we kind of should have called it. Looking for that double top right here, but. Yeah, that that was just that was just rough. This might be our finisher too. Our original play might work out. Could have flipped too early, but no, nah, it looks like it's gonna curl back up. We still have one more minute on this five minute. Should just fucking rock it. If we're gonna be bullish today. But damn, were we bearish? AF all day. We had what? 200 point drop? Already retraced. Almost half of it. Perhaps we could retrace the full thing. We shall see. That's what we were thinking earlier. I think the Lordy Hugo came in though, because I probably would have held those longs for a little bit longer. Not flip short. And Hugo saving the day, baby. Oh shit, we're back in the green. Let's go. The brink of death. 
I'm probably just gonna hold these for a long time because I mean this these days have just been trending hard AF, so I assume we're just gonna retrace the whole entire drop that we had throughout today. I love the big green dildos. <laughs> Not you. You don't, you don't love those dildos. No, I think they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like a shero when I When you have to wait me to pause me for the pay. I wonder if we even do get an uptrend. I mean, it, it makes it makes sense. I'd much prefer to fucking dump off a cliff. <coughs> Preferably when I'm not as long as though. For obvious reasons. Yes, yeah, this, this, this is an uptrend. We, we gotta just sit here. <coughs> and whole longs. We could try the whole scalping thing like we did on MFFU, but this seems like a whole lot of brain power for what. This is clearly slowly gonna go up, but surely, right? I mean, it actually is breaking out of this trend. So we could even just dump it, huh? I think... I mean, it is happening. Ugh, I think it's just so unlikely. I don't think we actually get any major moves down. At least not for a while. We're kind of double topping right here. Hmm. What are you thinking, Supra? Think we just go up all fucking day today, or what? Slowly but surely. I'm so pissed off about Tick Tick Trader. This was easy money. Not easy money, but I mean it was direct account it was already funded. So dumb. There's literally a market asking Golly. Literally just needed to like have a meeting with Andy like we already had planned. So I was just too fried yesterday after after live. We're breaking out of this uptrend, but it could just be an overshoot. Because it's just a bearish day. 
I, I think we have to sit in sit in longs because it is a it is an uptrend currently. I guess I guess if it does break this trend line, then uh then we could bail and see if we can catch the elevator down. That that would be pretty perfect, honestly. I, I would be completely down for that. We're breaking this little trend line here. Now we're just testing it. <laughs> Me. Cannot believe how fast we just ripped these top stuff accounts. There's a 21 day EMA bounce. This is a little bit of over trading, huh? We we got stopped out and we just jumped right back into longs. Or jumped right into longs. Uh, now we gotta suffer. Just a little bit. Right, look at that. We're actually breaking this downtrend. I, I guess I'm just gonna bail on here. Let's see if we can get in shorts for the dump off. This could just be consolidation at the same time, but I think more likely we actually do go down. But yeah, we only have a hundred dollars, but I don't want to miss this dump, so we're going to uh, slowly, slowly scale into micros. The micro short, because this could just be the fucking point where we do just dump it or are we just over trading again when the trend broke so we gotta we gotta assume that that it could be going down We literally sold at the bottom tick. Okay, this is when I start doing dumb shit. It might just be time to fuck. <laughs> Let, let's see. Let's see if we get this. Uh, get this little dumb skeet. We're so close to DLL. So if we DLL, we're just gonna call it. We already got three funded accounts today. Top stuff. We'll just have to wait, I guess. That one K DLL is fucking rough. really rough I can see why so many people struggle that I always had 150 K's always I might just have to go back to 150 K's but I was thinking if I'm just going for $200 a day then uh, the 50 K's will do but damn that 1k DLL is tough I think we might have also just got unlucky. Got in at the trend and just fucking rocketed up. I was only half paying attention as well. When we entered. It was kind of stupid. It's a downside to having so many accounts. You kind of like. Have to do a lot all the time.
I believe it. This is just consolidating, kind of fucking wait. That's lunch time. No, almost lunch time. Forty-five minutes to lunch. Seems like it's gonna want to dump here. Broke out of the trend. This is foolish consolidation, so who knows? Super bearish day. Makes me think it's gonna dump it. We'll add in the rest of the cons, like mid dump, if it happens. Yeah, we took a stupid fucking L right there. Golly. Then overtraded again. Yeah, need to be done. More than likely DLL. We could just try going for some scalps here. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars. It's wedging right now. Shit. Bullish wedge, ascending wedge. But I think I think uh, on the turn of the day, it's technically a descending wedge. <laughs> yeah, that's no, it's an ascending wedge. So technically, it should break up to the high. Let's move that fifty-three, kind of like we thought. On a better day, who knows? Fucking dump it. Well, let's get out of this. Let's let's try to let's try to do some uh some five con scalps. So that's what fifteen. Is it three times five? Yeah, it's fifteen. We'll either DLO or we'll land some nice scalps pretty quickly. That might be a little hard with that many. Let's try 12 to start because we're so close to DLO. Since this is technically Ascending wedge. Should probably hit the longs. Seems like a good spot. We should come back up to around 33. And uh, get like a little scalp in, a little, little 10 point scalp in. But this is wedging so hard, we could break out to the upside as well. So we'll see. We'll see if we even have to scalp it. Ooh, look at a little bearish. Look at like she wants to dump off a cliff. This really is looking like cliff dump fucking time, huh? Shit, maybe we should have went, went short. Now nah, chances are we do consolidate, so we'll be able to get get a little scalping. Ooh, but look at that. Not beginning a good old dumper. Let's see, we might just deal all right here. Oh, 
Or by just breaking to the downside. Is it a fake out? I kind of doubt it. I think our original play might work out here. We're on the wrong side, but that's okay. Ay, 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 ay. So if I remember, she back on real good now. Yeet. Time will come soon. Just recharging right now. Also doing some dumb shit. We kind of saw this dumping off a cliff with the original plan. We didn't stick to the plan. But also, this could very well not dump. Alright. <coughs> This might be the pullback before we break higher. Oh, we're in a DLL. Before, uh, whoop, whoop, that, that's DLL. All right, fuck it. That's okay. We got, yeah, our, our play is probably going to work out from our original scope. Which was just us just being stupid, but, I mean, fucking, just being dumbasses, whatever. Too many accounts, I think. So, whatever, we got our MFFU accounts, we got our other accounts, we're gonna still trade this tomorrow, and we'll probably pass this eventually, but today we are taking a DLL, but we are passing our MFFU challenge, and getting funded tomorrow so that's all that matters this was just unfortunate being a dumbass half-assing a uh, a trade this is what you get you know we tried playing that trend break and immediately got fucking bull train ran over so yeah shit happens i guess it was just uh just a little unfortunate I'd be shocked if we don't sweep this by the end of the day, though. Or if we're just gonna DLL meal and go right back up. I don't know. Whatever. Don't care anymore. I am burnt out and ready to chill. So GG's today. And we're gonna be coming back tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow is live on YouTube. On Wednesdays, we're going live on YouTube. And it's also FOMC day, so tomorrow should be pretty crazy, and we will be back then. Peace.